welcome to another session guys thank you very much for all the love and the support you are getting and um let us not waste time guys uh today's session i'm going to do a different type of uh, complex number since uh people are saying that the first two words were uh, easy complex numbers now we need to up this thing a little bit so let us just go through it okay guys uh, based on the exponent that we have here 1 over 4 this implies that our n is equals to 4 and our n minus 1 is equals to 3 okay so 4 roots <laughs> yeah so let us have that thing guys okay um you are going to start by finding the modulus of the complex number minus 8 minus 8 the square root of 3i okay so this is just gonna be uh, actually i can just rewrite this as um this is going to be the square root uh this is going to be uh 8 squared which is 64 64 times 3 uh that is to be 192 and then let's add 64 and 192 uh 64 192 64 this is 6 this is 15 bring this one here 256 so the square root of 256 is 16 okay so the modulus is given by 16 okay so guys as i said in the previous video i can uh show you the whole things and stuff yeah so now we are going to see uh, the nice part about um, this whole process okay now the first part we know that cos of theta will be equals to this divided by the which is minus one over two okay and then the second one is sine of theta is divided by oh is this divided by that which is just the negative root of three divided by two okay and if you look at uh, the respect of this thing, our d type in both cases will be negative 2 pi over 3. Okay, even here, d type will be negative 2 pi over 3. They're both negative. Okay, they're both negative, which means they line the third quadrant. <sighs> now, um, I don't know if I need to convince you any further in terms of why this is true but they both lie in the third quadrant that's the only quadrant where both the sign and cos are negative okay they both lie in the third quadrant so let us continue and write our complex number in in exponential form so negative 8 minus 8 root of 3 i will be equal to uh, the modulus which is 16 e to the i and have negative 2 pi over 3 plus 2k pi where our k is 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 da 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 okay so now let us write the general equation so guys this thing is we're just repeating the same thing over and over and over again uh, this is nice so uh, the general equation will be given by the fourth root of n of oh, not n guys sorry the fourth root of 16 which is our modular the fourth root of 16 and e to the i then we're gonna divide the whole term by um four so okay let me write it down actually such that 2k pi and everything in this thing divided by four so this will be the fourth root of 16 is just two e to the pi and then we're gonna have negative 2 pi over 12 plus so we're gonna have 2k pi over 4 okay so our ck equation will be given by 2 e i now this can be rewritten as negative pi over 6 this can be written as plus uh, k pi over 2 wow hey Now, let us find our C0, which is for K is equal to 0. 
Now for k is equals to 0, we are going to have 2 ei, okay? Okay, so we know what uh, k means. So that k, wherever we see k in the ck equation, we just put 0. So you're going to have minus pi over 6, okay? Uh, this can be written as 2 cos of negative pi over 6 plus i sine of negative pi over 6, okay? So in the next part, I want to skip this part where I'm going to write this down. So let me write it here. If it happens that I'm, I need it, uh, we know that cos of negative theta is equal to cos of theta. Sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine of theta. Okay. In case I need it in, in the future. So gonna write this as sorry about this guys because my pen is running out so we can write this as 2 cos of pi over 6 minus i this is minus guys okay so let me write this pi over 6 minus i sine of pi over 6 this will just be equals to 2 now pi over 6 is a special angle okay so it's just going to be root of 3 divided by 2 minus i 1 over 2. Okay. So uh, this means that our c0 will be equals to this and that will cancel. So it's going to be root of 3 minus i. Okay. Let us find c1. Now, everywhere we see k in the ck equation, we're going to put k. We're going to put 1. <laughs> c1 is equals to. Now, um, pi over 2 plus negative pi over 6 uh, that should be pi over 3 that should be pi over 3 so I'm gonna skip the part where I'm gonna show you let's just yeah so I'll have 2 e i pi over 3 okay so please if you don't understand how I found the pi over 3 please do comment below and then I will explain how I got the pi over 3 so to continue we have 2 cos pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3 pi over 3 is a special angle so you'll have 2 <coughs> now <coughs> pi over 3 will be just 1 over 2 plus i root of 3 divided by 2 sorry i ran out of space there okay let me not force things guys okay it's 2 root 3 uh, no this is root 3 over 2. No, actually, this is 1 over 2. So that is not root 3 over 2. <coughs> this is actually 1 over 2. Plus i root 3 over 2. Okay. <laughs> so the 2s and 2s and they will just go plus i root 3. Okay. <coughs> so this is our C1. Let us find our C2. So I'm going to do the same thing, guys, okay? I will not show how I found the solution to that, okay? So let us find our... Uh, now it's going to be 2 and 2 is going to be pi. So it's going to be 5 pi over 6, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to use 5 pi over 6. This is 5. This is going to be equal to 2 cos of 5 pi over 6, okay? plus i sine 5 pi over 6 okay so <coughs> this is just a special angle as well so it's going to be 2 actually it's motivated by the special angle <laughs> it's motivated by the special angle but in this particular case <coughs> at 5 pi over 6 um, our cos is uh, negative okay our cos is negative please do understand at 5 pi over 6 our cos is negative so we're gonna have negative i always okay it's fine root 3 over 2 plus i 1 over 2 okay the i comes from here so we'll have negative root 3 plus i some can write this as negative and write root 3 minus i it's the same thing okay it's the same thing <coughs> Now, 
let us find the last one c3 so c3 will be given by 2i 2e to the exponent i now um i'm gonna okay now let us put 3 here this is going to be um negative power 6 plus 3 pi over 2 so that should be if i multiply um both the terms by 3 uh, so it's going to be 4 pi over 3 4 pi over 3 okay you can go and check it guys please do check these things um for purposes of i'll just write it here plus 3 pi over 2 so i multiply here by 3 i multiply by 3 this becomes uh yeah this becomes 9 pi over 6 minus pi over 6 so what will happen is that you're gonna have 8 pi over 6 how many times does 2 go into that it's 4 pi over 3 okay so yeah, i just yeah so uh, i'll have 2 cos of 4 pi over 3 plus i sine of 4 pi over 3 okay uh, so in this particular uh, angle 4 pi over 3 both cos and sine are negative so thus we're going to have 2 but also it symbolizes a special angle so it's 1 over 2 which is negative minus i root 3 over 2 special angle guys okay it symbolizes a special angle so these two will cancel minus 1 minus i root of 3 but mathematically you can write it as minus 1 plus i root of 3 okay now now we found all the roots uh, 1 2 3 and 4 okay so please guys if you came this far please hit the like button and please subscribe please share the link of this video and uh, see you on the next one thank you very much guys